Am I dark? Yeah, I think we both are getting dark. That's okay. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. He's Shay. It's Shay's birthday. It is my birthday, guys. It's gonna be a little couple days after this, but happy birthday, man! Thanks, bro. No, I'm 22. It's today. I'm 22. I'm really happy about being 22. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Fuck. I'm 80. So, uh, it's my birthday. Thank you guys for joining with me on my birthday. And we're going to be talking about Tales from the Crypt. Tears for Fears. Crypt of the Tales that is still trying to get made with TNT. And fuckers that be fuckers are denying this from happening. Now, I will say one thing. I'll say that I grew up with Tales from the Crypt on HBO. Phenomenal show. Loved it. I was a little hesitant about thinking that TNT, a cable network show, taking it over and not being able to do as much as the HBO series did with it. But seeing the teaser that they released, I'm all on board. I think it looks freaking great. I think it looks phenomenal. I, you know, you got John Carpenter's little brother sweeping up the floor. <laughs> you got the guy that's pounding through the window trying to get in. This monster creature that's probably listening to too much Andrew C.K. It's like Rob Zombie fucked the chick from Lights Out. Yeah, and he, you know, it shows up and you hear the, you know, <laughs> you know, Crypt Keeper's voice or laugh. I think that they had a great concept. Like just on the trailer, it looked like a great concept. See, so. yeah, I read a lot of comments and stuff about this, and, and the whole thing's mysterious because okay, it was announced. M. Not Shamlon is going to produce the whole thing. They're going to do a whole horror block on TNC, which sounds fucking awesome. TNC, TNT, Turner Classic. TNC movies is the Indian one of the butt. Um, but no, uh, M. Not Shamlon was going to run a horror block for TNT. It was going to go back to fucking Monster Vision. Fun times oh god, Monster Vision was so great. I was really fucking excited for it. I wanted to see it a whole bunch. And then it was like, oh, maybe it's canceled. It's not going to happen after all. So they released this thing and they were like, hey, look, the rights are very complicated. We're, we're making significant progress and we've almost got it, but we don't yet. So we don't know if it's going to happen. But randomly, someone tried to uh, Deadpool the thing and release it thinking it was going to get this huge following when people saw it and they're going to demand it to be made and maybe that would force something to happen. But it didn't fucking happen. That's what I believe. People's backlash towards it, uh, their opinions were of that this feels like James Wan, this feels like today's horror movies, this doesn't feel like the old Tales from the Crypt, where it's kind of, um, it's got that underlying, like, humor to it, and it's also just, like, dark and, like, weird and almost cheaply gritty. It didn't have the Tales from the Field feel to it. It felt more like a polished today horror movie and shitty than it did the Tales from the Crypt original. Now, you can feel about that how you want to feel about it. I, I understand. I see this, and it. if I saw this trailer and I didn't know it had something to do with Tales from the Crypt, I wouldn't have thought Tales from the Crypt at all. But that being said, if you just see the money that they put into even that short little clip, uh, it looked like it was well made. It looked a little expensive. It looked high budget. And I think that that is more encouraging than anything else. Well, it was a thrown together thing that they were just trying to get the fans excited for. And the fact of the matter is, I mean, you're talking about like there's not that humor there. I mean, I thought that it was there. I mean, the guy looked like fucking John Carpenter's little brother or goddamn Joe Dirt's dad. Yeah, it was like, oh. yeah, it, just, it, it didn't seem like trying to be. Uh, edgy or different or outside normal uh, from Tales of the Crypt to be serious, it, it felt like there was some humor going to be. Because even the monster, when he pops up, he's like, eh. like he smiles and shit. I think it was like, a ghostly jump scare yeah. aspect that threw people off. But it was a teaser. I can, yeah, exactly. I mean, we don't know what a full-on production of this show would have been like. So, I mean, give them a chance. Monster Vision was always a cool thing. And TNT, to their credit, has always been a company that at least supported that I, that that notion of Monster Vision. They got behind it. They were going to bring back this kind of uh, show as their as their flagship. I do. I'm fucking down for that. Like I think that would be amazing. I'm too. And I think that today, the way today's world, I, I thought the same thing at first. It's like HBO is way better. Or Netflix. Oh my god. You imagine Tales from the Crypt on Netflix. Holy amazing. shit. But then again, if you think about it, look at uh, American Horror Story. Uh, look at FX, dude. They're saying cock and balls and shit and bitch. They even showed titties and ass in, in that taboo show. So it should be, but maybe is that but that's is that TNT? Uh, no, that's FX, but it's yeah. still cable TV. So I mean, you're saying that it, it, it Charles maybe, Barkley talks on TNT. I mean, come on, you I know, do whatever so, you want. Are you saying A and E? Or uh, FX and got a hold of this, it would be a different story. Well, they, FX is the same thing as TNT. I think okay, they're the same. Okay, well, then, it, then, it, then it definitely should have a chance. There was also an extra promo that came out, um, and this is what led people to believe that this promo was fake, is that it's M. Night Shyamalan sitting in a room in a highly production value situation talking about Tales from the Crypt and what their plans are for it. But it was capped off with these um, clips, these horror clips, and uh, a couple of viewers realized those were taken from other movies. Mm -hmm. Like, they used clips from other movies to, to use as promotional. And what I think that that was, was when you get in the beginning of the stages of something, 
when they were probably planning on going to full go with this, they didn't know there was going to be rights issues. They made a couple of these promos and they used those as fillers. Whereas before it actually got released, maybe they thought they'd have some footage at that point and they'll put the footage in the space of those. Um, just for uh, maybe for investors or whatever they're going to do it for, which makes a lot of sense. But granted, the, the fact of the matter is this was going to happen. They were like knocking on heaven's door. It was this close right and they got, you know, kicked in the ass. Uh, but there's still a chance it could happen in the future. And the question of the day is, do you want it? Do you want, t you can't, you can't see it first. Right now you have to answer the question. Uh, you're, and you're, the, you're the Kevin Costner. I can't do this. You're Kevin Costner in swing boat. Okay. From what you know right now, from this teaser, from everything, from TNT, M. Night Shyamalan, Split happening, all this stuff, you say yay or nay. Do they make Tales from the Crypt on TNT or let it go? It's your call. What do you want them to do? I mean, I, here's the thing, though. If they were going to say, if you don't take this opportunity to do this now, you won't see Tales from the Crypt for 10 or 15 years. Maybe longer. Maybe never. I'm taking it. I'm fucking taking that goddamn I'm taking red pill I like going it. down the rabbit hole. I want to see it, man. I'm interested in it. Blue pill? Nothing's going to take away the old episodes. You'll still have those to go back to. Let's see what the fuck they can do. And if it does fail, but it generates enough uh, activity and enough interest, I think that HBO will pick it back up. The title itself still garners enough attention that it's, like, it's, a, it's a name brand. Yeah. We would think. Comment below. Let us know. It's your choice. Gun to your head. Tales from the Crypt on TNT with M. Night Shyamalan as is, based on only knowing this promo, or, or possibly never again. Comment below, let us know, we love your fucking faces! So sexy. So Happy sexy. birthday, man! Thanks, bro. Click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you. Mwah! We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie.